Hey, what's up here? CPA Strength back. Um, we're just learning. We just learned every. We just learned a bunch of stuff. In the last one, I just told you that there's two parts to every to every journal entry. All right, you got you got to do a journal entry. You know uh, where the normal balance is and up and down. So, what I found in my 10 years of doing accounting um, <clears throat> that a huge portion of journal entries on on tests and real life involve cash cash being cash could be equivalent of uh you know checks something liquid checks uh debit card you know venmo maybe uh but it's just it's just a liquid form so we we say cash i mean not a lot of times these days in business is cash really uh given or taken it's mostly let's we'll say debit card like an electronic transaction through the bank but that's all labeled cash now mostly every journal entry in real life and in text and in uh tests and stuff is going to have cash involved in it so that's going to really help you like say you have 10 10 questions on a test here you're taking a test here that's why you're watching this i would say probably or in real life I would say seven or eight of those journal entries are going to have cash either coming in, cash either leaving. And so, you know, just by, and then, and then if you know, if you can follow what the cash is doing, you're going to have half of your journal entry done already. So I suggest that you just kind of key in, is, is there money leaving? Is there money coming in? That would be cash right and key in on that all right so now we're gonna we're gonna know what what was um so you want to learn you want to learn what the cash does all right debit credit um asset all right stick with me now we're doing something crazy kind of asset what is the asset? Cash. Asset. Cash. Now, if the cat is right, now if cash is if cash is going up, if cash is increasing, you debit it. If cash is decreasing, you credit it. See how? All right. So you know how we went over that before. So if you can follow, if you can follow the cash you're gonna be really good. All right, you're gonna get a lot of journal entries correct. You're gonna, you're gonna start learning things because then you're gonna see what the cash does and then the other half, you're gonna know what that other half does and just following the cash really helped me with journal entries and accounting in general to just follow everything. And you can get, I would say if you're taking a class and you know what the cash does in the journal entries, you're you're gonna you know there's only so much else the other uh the other side the other debit or the credit could be there's only so many things and then you already know we'll go over some journal entries later but let's say cash what is let's go over what cash is cash is cash is an asset right an economic benefit to your business okay cash is an asset so Cash can either be, and just like every, just like every, every box, an asset, a draw, an expense, a liability, equity, or revenue, it, they, they can all either be debits or credits depending on if they're increasing in value or decreasing in value. So we know cash, cash is an asset. Do we debit? Or credit the cash all right if your cash is increasing meaning let's just now let's just say I like to do these journal entries or some of these now I'm thinking <clears throat> let's say it's your first let's say you have no balance like you have no balance on on cash right it's your first first transaction in your business so you don't have any cash. You're like, I don't know if it's increasing or decreasing. You gotta just slow down here, slow down. 
All right. <clears throat> Someone hands you $100, you get $100. That means you didn't have any money, now I have $100, thank you very much. That means my cash is increasing. If your cash is increasing, you debit it. <clears throat> okay? I have to give you money. Here, I give you, now conversely, I give you $100. Um, I had $100, now I don't have any money. So my cash is decreasing. If your cash is decreasing, <clears throat> Because cash is an asset, you would credit it. So if an asset goes up, debit. If an asset goes down, credit it. Cash is an asset. So if cash goes up, debit it. If cash goes down, credit it. All right? <clears throat>